I myself am also an MCAT retaker. I've retaken the MCAT twice. Hi everyone, this is Renee from MCAT Mastery. And today I wanna to talk a little bit about whether and how you should retake your MCAT. I've scored a 506 on my first one, a 514 on my second one, and a 522 on my last and most recent MCAT. And they were all spaced around three months apart. The number one question to ask yourself about retaking the MCAT is, are you able to create the same environment? Are you able to have the same resources, the same time and energy that you can dedicate at the same level, if not even higher for your retake? And if your answer is yes, then another risk you do have to take is having potentially the same score or even a lower score for your next MCAT retake. From what I personally heard from medical school advisors is that if you have the same score in your retake, it can have a neutral to a perhaps slightly negative effect on your application because it can make them think that you are locked in at that specific level of score. And if you have a lower score, it might show medical schools that your previous score that was higher was actually a fluke. So that is one risk that you do have to consider. And if you consider both of these factors and you think that, yes, I do want to retake the MCAT again, then for the one month that you're waiting for an MCAT to come out, take a break. It's okay to take a break and have some personal time and recharge your own batteries. But I would say that during that one month, when you're waiting for the score, it's important to not completely let go of your studying because you can easily let go of a lot of progress that you've made leading up to the exam. Instead, try maybe doing Anki every day so it's low effort, you've already been doing it, and it's not super difficult and out of your ordinary routine, but you're still able to keep up with your previous knowledge as well. And the next question for you to answer would be whether you need a new study plan or not. If you are more than 10 or 15 points away from your ideal score, then I would say yes, it is important to reevaluate your current study strategy because there might be something that you're missing out on that can make a drastic change on your future score. So number one, really reevaluate whether you are giving yourself enough hours that you're studying. Typically, if you're a full-time study student, you should spend 40 hours a week on studying every week like a full-time job. And if you are studying for this MCAT part-time, then around 20 hours a week or 25 hours a week is ideal. And additionally, one quick tip is, depending on how you study, you don't need to do the same hours every single day. For example, when I was studying myself, I was also working full-time. So I did basically one hour a day on the weekdays and I did 10 hour days on the weekend. And that's what worked for me because I don't have enough time on the weekdays to study. It would just drain me too much. So with that being said, it is possible if you are strict on yourself and you are able to stick to whatever schedule you make for yourself. And next, after you give yourself enough time on studying, there are what I think three main process of the MCAT studying workflow. Number one, there is content review. Number two, there is familiarizing yourself with the actual test and getting used to how to answer questions in the MCAT logic. And number three, timing. So go through each one of those process and see if you are lacking in that specific area or maybe all of them. Number one, content review. So if you're scoring sub 500, I would say that you are probably missing out on some very important high yield topics. So go back, whether it's through going through a pre-made Anki deck to see what is your problem area and what is your knowledge gap. Or you can also check out some MCAT video playlists on this channel, MCAT Mastery, or other channels on YouTube as well. I know that there are a lot of great resources out there. I know that other than MCAT Mastery, there is Med School Coach, there is Science Simplified, there is the Organic Chemistry Tutor, Leah for Sci, and they all have really great MCAT related summary videos. You can watch between 10 minutes to an hour and a half. You would be able to see what you don't understand yet and make sure you study a little bit extra on the side for that specific topic. And in terms of familiarizing with the testing strategy and getting used to the test a little bit better, definitely, definitely watch some walks or videos. Click on a video, see what the question is about, do it yourself first without watching the rest of the video, and then compare your own way of taking the test and approaching the question 
with the actual original creator's way and see if there are things you can adapt from the new creator as well. I know that MCAT Mastery has some really great videos about how to approach a specific passage or how to approach a general topic. And that's actually how I got into MCAT Mastery myself was through those videos that are free and available online. So definitely check those out as well. And lastly, in terms of timing, I myself use the alternating day strategy for cars, but that works for all different subjects. So what I did was I did one day in which I didn't time myself and I just gave myself all the time I needed to get every single question as correct as possible. And the next day I would do another set of questions, but I would time myself and my goal was to finish the question within a time limit. So by alternating, I'm then able to converge those two ideas in the end and be able to do questions both correctly and also efficiently. So now I just have some general tips in regards to retaking the MCAT. Number one, I myself have also wondered, should I reuse resources? So especially for cars, as we all know, it's a very, very scarce and highly valuable resources, especially the AMC official cars passages. So I would say definitely reuse that closer to your exam date. And at least I know for most people, fortunately, we don't have that good of a memory. So give ourselves one or two months and most likely we will have forgotten about the exact passages at that point. Additionally, I know that Khan Academy has some great cars material as well. And because they're developed in conjunction with AMC, if you haven't touched those yet, I would say definitely go for it. It's free, it's available, and I think there's 80 passages that you can utilize. Jack Weston is always a good one. They have daily passages. So if you subscribe to the newsletter, you're able to get access to them. I know the Princeton Review can sell the separate cars workbook on its own as well. That's a great one. And not just for cars, but for other subjects as well, you can definitely try and get full length practice exams from different major testing companies. If you sign up for their newsletter, you can get one for free, I think for the Princeton Review, for Kaplan, and then also for Blueprint as well. Do as many questions as you can, and don't be afraid of repeating them. As long as you are learning what you're getting wrong every time correctly, when you redo them, you should be able to increase your accuracy significantly. My next advice in terms of retaking the MCAT would be to really consolidate your resources. A lot of times I see people and even myself getting lost in the woods. There are many, many resources out there. Sometimes there's too much. Think about what you should use that's gonna maximize your own growth in terms of your own studying strategy, right? Are you more of an auditory learner? Are you more of a visual learner? Really, really examine how you learn best and then center your resources around that and have a home base of resources you're gonna utilize if you are at a loss. Don't try to add more, try to cut back. You'll be able to maximize efficiency and you won't waste time navigating between different types of resources as well. This is exactly why I also choose to work with MCAT Mastery because our mission of really utilizing smarter strategies, studying smarter and not harder, is really central to even being a medical student in and of itself. Knowing what to do best, knowing where you should put more energy towards and where you actually can afford to not put as much energy towards because it might not be as high yield or it might not just be worth it for you to spend the extra month on studying that one topic that confuses you just to maybe get a five point increase. I don't know if that is worth it or not for some people and that is what MCAT Mastery is really about. So make sure you check some of our videos down below on our channel. Thank you so much for listening and watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to comment them down below and if you're able to get an insight or two that would really make my day. Good luck on your own studying process and you got this.